everybody, it's Christine. It is time for the November layout share. Um, last month I was pretty prolific because it was 30 days of sketches. So this month was not quite as prolific. <laughs> I only have, I think I have 14 in here or something like that. Um, with Thanksgiving, uh, you know, I didn't get to scrapbook. Honestly, it's really kind of sad because I take a few days off, but there was no scrapbooking involved. It was family stuff and eating and decorating for Christmas and all the things. So anyways, that being said, let me kind of start working through here. Most of these, I should have a process video, honestly, for every one of these. So you can always go back and check. Um, and most of these are going to either be, I shouldn't say most of them. There's scrap lift craft afternoons in here. I think there's a mix it up Monday. Um, and then there's just regular process videos. So anyways, uh, go back and check those videos. But, and then there's a couple here at the end. I'm going to show you that the videos will come up this next week. So you're a little bit of a sneak peek. So uh, this one here was a hip kit collection, and these are really old pictures. It's from uh, 96 when my husband and I went to Cancun. We were riding horses, and I was really excited to find these pictures because I had this hip kit collection with these kind of westerny things here, and it was like, dang it, what am I going to do? And then I was really excited, so um, I was kind of fun because he had little western things, like I said, little um, cowboy boots and, you know, horseshoes and things like that. I really enjoyed this. This was um, a scrap lift craft afternoon. And uh, I thought this turned out really cute. I love this wood grain, this little diagonal wood grain. Um, this one is, I don't remember what this is for y'all. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to just go back and look. <laughs> um, but I really like this one because it has the title going along the side like this. Um, and the colors are really bright. It's a Vicky Booten collection. I believe this is, I believe it's mostly fernwood. But I, honestly, I have now got all my Vicky Booten kind of in a John Orma stack because I have way, way much more than I could probably use in the next little bit here. And I got to start working on that too. But this is my husband and my daughter. They were hiking and I thought the colors went really pretty uh, with the, with this collection here. Um, this is another hip kit. This was, uh, I don't remember what this is for, uh, but this is a document of my husband and my 35th an 31st anniversary. And I just kind of enjoyed it because it had these pretty little florals and I, I kind of like these little chipboard hearts and stuff. But I really liked building out these clusters with these little pieces. Chipboard frame here, just some little words. And this floor is really pretty. I really like this watercolor background too. I thought that was really pretty. This one was a multi-photo layout. So I've got five photos, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then I was actually able to include a couple of tickets. So this is a lot of like more, I mean, y'all, if you've watched me at all, you see most of my layouts have one, maybe two pictures in it, maybe three if I'm really getting out there. So adding a lot of photos is kind of out of the ordinary for me, but I really enjoyed doing this. Little buttons were from my stash. Um, in fact, I think most of this was kind of stash busting, if I'm honest. Um, and no, it was a little kit. It was like a little card kit thing I had gotten. Um, I did get the, get the cardstock here to use for matting the photo and all that, but this was a fun little layout here. This was a scrap lift, I believe. And this was a really fun technique. So this, I used two colors on a stencil. Um, she actually had like a starburst looking kind of stencil. So mine was a little different. I had to have just this like geometric one. So I had to kind of make it work. And I really liked how it turned out because I used two different greens and then a black ink pen. And I think this turned out so cool. Um, and this is one my daughter actually helped me pick out the embellishments because I didn't have an actual collection. This was a white piece of cardstock and I pulled out, uh, well, this was some cocoa vanilla here, but I don't remember now the papers. I think I had kind of stashy stuff and then a lot of a lot of different stash things that my daughter helped pick out. So I was really happy. The pictures are my husband. Uh, he was obviously maybe a year old, if that, maybe less than a year old, eight, nine months, something like that. So I'm not going to tell y'all how old these pictures are, but they're kind of old. <laughs> and then I really like my little wood grain or uh, wood veneer um, title here. So this one was really fun. I enjoyed that one. Um, this one was a mix it up Monday and, um, it had circles and, and you could have gone in a lot of different directions, but I used actual cups. I took coffee cups and I used some ink and I like stamped it on the paper with my coffee cups. And then of course sprinkled some inks and stuff like that. This is an actual stamp as well. And then a bunch of little just word phrases. Um, this was a couple of uh, photos from New York with my husband and his friend. We went up there and had like a coffee and stuff like that. So uh, really fun. This actually didn't take me that long either because it was just really quickly, you know, it was easier than I thought it was going to be and it's not overly embellished. So this was from a 49 and market collection here, this little background paper and actually even these little pieces here. Um, this is a bow bunny. Um, I've got a whole, a little series called bow bunny stash busting or something like stash bash. That's what it is. Bow bunny stash bash. 
because I have a whole bunch of Bow Bunny and all these collections. And I was trying to go a little different color palette. I've got several videos for this collection here and it's all pink and, and very feminine. So this one I intentionally chose to use greens and, and the golds and stuff like that to kind of make it more a little more masculine because it's my husband. So, um, and then there's some stash busting stuff here on the embellishments because I just don't have a lot of the ephemera and all that left on this collection. It's mostly just papers. So, uh, and then I did use little staples here because there's faux staples here. So I used actual staples on those ones. Then I did, oh, I don't remember which one. I don't know what this is, y'all. I feel like it's a scrap lift out for afternoon, but it's, um, it was a scrap room flavors of the month, uh, basically like a 4th of July type collection. And I just thought I would use theme collection with non-theme because it's my little girl in her little extra saucer, but it was like kind of primary colors. And I thought this, um, collection with these red, white, and blue would kind of go. And I, I think it turned out well. And then there's a little mixed media here with a stencil. I uh, used a little, uh, distress oxide through a little hexagon stencil and then sprinkled some ink on there. I thought that was cute. Here is another layout. I think it's the very end of the collection I had for this little Western theme, which again, I'm actually kind of excited because I really thought when that showed up, I thought, how am I going to use all this western -y stuff? I know I'm in Texas, but y'all, we don't run around wearing boots all the time. I promise. We are in a pretty urban area here in Dallas. So um, I was like, what am I going to do here? But I was actually able to use every bit of this collection. I'm kind of happy with myself. Um, but this was really cute. Me and my daughter went to Nashville and we did a line dancing lesson. So this was really fun. I enjoyed using these. It worked out perfectly. Um, and again, this one's four photos. This actually was un a little bit of an unintentional. I had done that other layout. That wasn't um, a scrap lift of any kind. And then this one was suggested by Tara. And it was like, oh, that's kind of similar. How funny. <laughs> it's kind of classic layout. So uh, chipboard frame here, titles, ephemera, that sort of thing. Really cute. I enjoyed that. This was, um, I realized I had a ton of branding strips in my little cup over there, and I thought I got to find some way to use them up, and I found a layout on, I think it was Instagram, and it was different. It was a doodle bug collection, but I was like, oh, I, they, they kind of woven the, I know they used washi tape, actually, but I thought I'm going to use my branding strips, and I think this turned out really pretty. Um, I picked out kind of ones that had, some of them are Vicki Booten. Uh, this is a Vicki Booten page here. Um, some of this is Vicki Booten, but some isn't. Some of it's different. Um, I think this, for example, is Jen Hadfield as an example. But it all went together, and I was really happy with it. So um, this was my daughter and her friends at the end of the, when they got basically sent home from college, and that was that. Um, it was COVID year, and they didn't get to go back, and that was her senior year. So this was them telling each other goodbye. So that was a sad little time, but I thought the layout turned out really pretty. This is a bunch of Vicky Booten here, so it was really pretty stuff. Um, and this one here is to celebrate my bonus dad eating a piece of pie. It was Thanksgiving, and so my... my um, I boo-booed y'all. I accidentally posted it without scheduling it. And so it went up immediately and my mom commented, I was like, oh crap, that's not supposed to go up yet. So I like unposted it and then had it redo. And I think I've messed it up. So if y'all haven't seen it, it's probably because I messed up the algorithm by posting it the wrong day and then undoing it and redoing it and all that. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. Um, this was Cartabella, really nice thick papers. Um, and these chickens y'all, I just love the chickens. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I just love them darn chickens, but that was a fun little layout. Um, and then this one here was using up the last of my stash here on, I think this might be an Echo Park collection, but it was a Flavors of the Month from Scrap Room. Um, and then a few little pieces of ephemera I pulled out of my stash, but I was using up that paper was kind of my intention. And this is me and my daughter on a, on the road trip to Nashville and she were in the car, not road trip, technically we flew, but we were in a car, um, for something else, but used a stencil here with a little sprinkle inks and a little puffy sticker. And this one was kind of fun too. And then this one was, again, I'm trying to use up some older stuff. I've got, and I say older, some of it's only a few months old, but in my mind, I'm running out of room over there because I, I try to do them by month uh, in my, my rack of papers over there. And I'm like, oh gosh, I got to use up some of these things. So this was the last of a doodle book collection that also came from a scrap room flavors of the month, but it went really well with my daughter's little bathing suit here. And I was really pleased with it. So I don't, again, I've mentioned the video when you watch it, <laughs> what's going on with her expression. Maybe she's trying to be all modely, but uh, it was cute. But I enjoyed that. And this one here, these were scraps from a layout I had done before. And I did not even cut these, y'all. I just, that was what I had left as the scrap. So I kind of speed scrapped it in the sense I just laid down the pieces I had. So the only thing that took any real time was the stencil work I did over here. And I did use two colors, uh, white and pink. So I thought that looked really pretty. Um, and then this is, I think this is a scrap, scrap lift crafter. And I can't swear on it, but... This is the new hip kit that just came uh, here in November 
but it's real like Christmassy. And I thought, oh, I just took these pictures of our Christmas trees and I really loved them. So I did our Xmas trees here. Um, they had these little uh, stickers here that are like clear with black lettering. And I thought those were really pretty. I was really happy with the little foiling on here, but this was fun too. This is just a few little layers. I did put this up on foam and then this was really pretty too. I thought that was great. Um, these ones may not show yet. This might be next week. So if I, if you haven't seen the video yet, it will be coming up in the next few days. Uh, but this is a 10 random things. This was just a picture of me. I took, uh, I kind of a little filter on it, I guess, cause it's kind of fuzzy looking, but I thought my hair looked pretty and stuff or my makeup and all that. So I just decided to do, I had seen, I had this, um, saved on one of my Instagram, uh, saves and it was just a 10 random things or 10 random facts. And so I thought, well, I'll just do that. Um, and I thought this was kind of pretty. I used some stash stuff here. Um, this was a hip kit font here, but honestly, the whole point was to, uh, use up some of my, um, I had some papers here I wanted to use. This was a couple branding strips, but I had this little piece of wood parquet fake paper here too, and some, um, stickers. This little swan's pretty. I like that too. And a puffy, t puffy sticker. I like getting into my stash sometimes just to kind of, you know, well, to use it. And also because it just fills out things that if you're kind of at the bottom of a collection, you just, you can almost always find something in the right color or theme or something like that. And then this is one I just did. And again, I think that's going up Thursday. So you're going to see this a little in advance, but it's basically, an, again, the end of a collection. Um, Scrap Room Flavors of the Month. I'm um, trying to use it up. So is this real bright. It's Paige Evans. And... Um, I think all this might be page events. It was in the little kit together. And uh, this was just a little dilutions, ink sprinkles here, a few little jewels I poked in here. Um, and yeah, this was kind of fun too. I just finished this one up, a little twine. This came out of my stash as well. And I did put foam up underneath the edges of some of the florals and then this little bird here. And then wonderful. So that's what I got done this month, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys are subscribed. So you hit the little notification bell. I do try to post on every Tuesday, Thursday, and typically Sunday. And just depending on what's going on, you might see another one drop in there now and again. So thanks again. Thanks. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season too. Um, you know, don't get too stressed out about it. Try to make sure you're scrapbooking. If you're doing it December daily, don't stress about it, y'all. It's supposed to be fun. So don't hurt your feelings on it. All right. We will see you next time. Talk soon. Bye-bye.